Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're going to be talking about the Hollywood screen that I've had on a few of my videos and exactly how I set it up. So you may have seen in a couple of my uh, videos, mostly the um, older videos that I have where I've, I've got the camera behind me and it's sort of looking at the screen and uh, it looks like there's this crazy hacking uh, screensaver on the screen, but it's actually the Hollywood script running inside WSL on my Windows computer. Now, the way I did that is with WSL, which is the Windows subsystem for Linux. And I've got a page here that I'll open up that says, uh, the Windows subsystem for Linux lets developers run a GNU slash Linux environment, includes most command line tools, utilities, and applications directly inside of Windows, unmodified without the overhead of traditional virtual machine or dual boot setup. Now, the benefit of this for me is because I do most of my editing of videos and I play a couple of games here and there, very rarely, uh, on my Windows computer and I, I find it easy, especially for some of the work I do uh, with different PowerShell things that um, I know I can do in Linux, although I'm just more comfortable uh, with using them on Windows. So I use Windows as my main computer with WSL for anything that I need to do in Linux. Now for this example, I'm just using the Hollywood script because it's it's kind of fun and um, it looks pretty cool. It's it's all, it's a bit of a gimmick to be honest, but it's, it's still kind of cool. So I thought I'd show you that anyway. Now to install WSL, you literally just click on the install WSL. I'm not going to do it because I've already got it installed and it'll just override everything I've already done. But um, yeah, you just install WSL on your computer and then you need to pick an operating system that you want. To do that, you're going to need to go to the Microsoft Store. So let's go to Store, bring this across here, and then up the top, you search for the operating system you want. Now, in this case, I'm using Ubuntu as my uh, operating system inside WSL that I'm going to be using. However, there is other ones like Kali. Uh, there's also a Debian one here. There's SUSE. There's, there's all sorts of different uh, WSL operating systems that you can use. Now, as you can see, I'm using Ubuntu and um, I'll show you exactly what that looks like now. So you can see down here on my taskbar, I've got uh, the Ubuntu icon, that's because that's where I have it pinned. It literally installs a program on your computer. And this is essentially what it looks like. So I'm using uh, Fish as my uh, emulator here because I, I like it most. So once you've installed WSL and you've gone through all of the steps, you need to update a few things. You need to update the version of PowerShell if it's not already up to date. And I think the .NET uh, framework as well needs to be updated to um, include some packages to allow this to run. So to install it in here, um, you have options for Snap, um, but we're just gonna be doing the apt uh, in a get repository one. So I'll just type in that command. It's sudo uh, apt add repository Hollywood. It's already in there because I've done this before. Um, so once you've done that, it will add the repository to your computer. You then run the apt get update and it will run through and update all of the packages on your computer. 2000 years later. Takes a little while to, to run all the way through. <laughs> and once it's finished, it, sh it should look something like this. Then to install it, you go sudo apt get install Hollywood. And off it goes. Now I've already got it installed, so it just says there's nothing in there to install. There's no updates. Now the next step is to install uh, BYOBU or Biobu, which is sudo apt get install BYOBU. That's already installed as well. And that is pretty much it. So once this is all done, you just type in Hollywood and this is what you will get on the screen as it loads up eventually so it's it's essentially just like a, a hollywood hacker um screen on there it looks kind of cool i guess it's a it's a bit ridiculous but i mean it's just there for the fun of it um i usually just use it as like a, a backdrop 
Um, I don't think I've ever used it in, in real life. Actually, no, I did once use it in a, a CTF um, while I was waiting for some stuff to happen. Um, I just sort of had this running for just a bit of a laugh, really. To close out of it, you can just press Control C a couple of times and off it goes. It'll kill the processes and that's it. So I know that's a, it's a very short example of uh, how to use WSL. There is so much you can do in WSL. I use it on almost a daily basis, which is why I've put in the um, terminal emulator in there because I, I like to sort of feel at home with what I've got um, if I don't have my Linux computer handy. However, it's, it's pretty useful. There's a lot you can do with it. There's a lot of fun things you can play around with in there and it's, it's essentially Linux, um, almost like a virtual machine, but just the terminal. And it's, um, yeah, it's, it's really useful. So I highly recommend giving it a try. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this nice and quick video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, comment below if you have any questions as always, and I'll see you all on the next video. Catch you later.